Yo, what's going on, everybody? I'm your boy, Hoppy. And Ms. Jersey. And we are back with another episode of, you guessed it, it's all bullshit. So what do you say we get right into it? All right. Well, um, tabloids. Uh, paparazzi. Paparazzi. It's been getting way out of hand. And um, there's been two people that have been in the spotlight for a while now. Now, if you know anything about these two individuals, they're not that type of, they're not those type of people that like to be in the spotlight, camera shoved in their face. Um, and we are talking about... Taylor Swift. And... Travis Kelsey. Travis Kelsey, yes. Um, it's just gotten really out of hand. I mean, every time you turn around, okay, and I believe we just discussed this and you said, how Jason Kelsey announced that he was retired. Taylor Swift was bought into it. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah, they, 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 there was like a, some kind of media thing saying that like he was inconsiderate of her by announcing now that he's retiring. Like, what did the two have to do with each other? It's got nothing to do with it at all. I mean, the man wants to retire and enjoy his life. His body's beat up from a game that required its physical work. You know, it's got nothing to do with her. I mean, okay, she's dating his brother, but it's two separate things. Yeah. I, and I'm not trashing. I'm not talking junk about Taylor Swift. I'm not, you know, I, I, I could care less. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, why is it that now all of a sudden it's like, oh, she's drinking. Like, who gives a fuss? The woman is 34 years old. If she wants to have a drink at 9 a.m. in the morning, girl, do it. Yeah. Do I mean, it. She's of age. She's got more money than me. <laughs> She's got more money than Travis, Jason, the whole Eagles franchise. I mean, what's She's the difference? Billionaire. She's a billionaire. She yeah. owns her own plane. Like, what difference does it make? You know? That's like they're always like, oh, you know, he jumped on a $40 million jet to go fly here to see her. And she vice versa, blah, blah, blah. Who cares? Yeah. I don't care what he paid for that jet. I don't care what she paid for that jet. I don't care. It's a... Man going to see his girlfriend and supporting his girlfriend, and then his girlfriend going to support her boyfriend. Right. Who, who gives a fuck? I don't Nobody care. gives a fuck. Exactly. That's what it is. I mean, she did the show in Japan and got on her corporate jet and flew to Vegas for the Super Bowl. I mean, that 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 does that's just not an easy trick. I mean, there's a lot of planning that goes into that. But then again, when you're in that realm and that lifestyle, and you can do that. That's what you do. But who cares? We don't need to see step by step pictures and article we don't care you know and it's a shame because that's how these famous people movie stars rock stars or whatever they get a bad rap because there's always somebody with a fucking camera in their face talking shit mm -hmm. asking stupid ass questions and it's just like they just the regular people like you and i are mm -hmm. we put our pants on the same way we may not go to work the same way but you know, it's just we're human at the end of the day. And it's like, what's the big deal? Who cares? Yeah. You know? It's like they're like, oh, well, he gifted her, you know, the extravagant gift. And she gave him the big extravagant gift. I don't care. Yeah. Because you know what? What they do with their lives is not affecting mine. So why do I have to sit there and go on social media and see it continuously? And it's always surrounded by them. Like, the Super Bowl. Chiefs won the Super Bowl. But when... You went on social media. It mm -hmm. was all about Taylor Swift. There was nothing about the Chiefs. It was all about Taylor Swift. Right. And that's how they gauge it, unfortunately. And it yeah. sucks. Yeah. It was like, oh, Taylor Swift flew here to come see, you know, Travis play. And, oh, she touched down. And she did this and she did that. Okay, congratulations. She's coming to support her boyfriend. Yeah. I mean, the, the woman makes tremendous strides to go out of her way to make sure she's present. She doesn't need the paparazzi with their bullshit cameras and their spotlight, you know, and their videos and whatnot like that. Give her, yeah. give her a private, give them a private moment. Like, what if she wants to fucking pick her nose or something like you? Oh, that would be a, that would be a main story. There would be a zoom lens on that and everything. You'd see the hairs and all. Yeah, like you know, like maybe hairs up here. I'm not that. And I'm not. And, and before it gets, oh, Jesus Christ, I just caught that too. That was like a death. I wanted to make sure nobody got the wrong impression. It took a moment for me to process her. It did. It did. I kept going. I kept talking. She did. <laughs> like, she didn't even realize it. Yep. 
I don't know what the hell I'm talking about now. Well, you know what, Miss Jersey, since you know how much I care about you and I'm glad you're on this show, I would like to present you. I want to give you, how about a snow globe? A snow globe? Yeah. Ooh, what did I do? Well, I'm just saying, like, Travis gives her a gift, she gives him a gift, so I'm going to give you a gift. Oh. <laughs> See? No, wait, wait, whoa, whoa, no, whoa, wait, whoa. It, you got to put the amount. How much does that snow globe cost? Because if you don't put the amount, it doesn't count. Well. It doesn't count. Believe it or not. Wow. Let's well, see how we segue into this. This is actually a collector's piece. 9-11. Oh, I didn't even notice that. Look at that. Because if you see, it, and it even plays New York, New York, and the carousel goes around. So you got the Empire State Building, you got the Twin Towers, and you got the Chrysler Building inside the globe. And obviously, it's a snow globe. So there you go. I was just being funny because it doesn't matter the size of the gift or what it's worth. It's just the generosity that comes along with it, just to say in a nice way. Thank you. Exactly. So, you know. It's just, it, it's, it's, it's kind of a, a, a sad situation, really, because if you, th I mean, it's not even just her, it's all celebrities. Like, I understand this is the lifestyle that they wanted to do, this is the career that they wanted, but at the same time, it's like, they never get a private moment. No, they don't. I mean, the more famous you get, the worse it gets. And yeah. it's a shame because it's just the majority of these people that are famous just, they don't get a break, you know. It's like, I mean, if they go to the grocery store, they go get a cup of coffee. There's usually somebody there with a video camera rolling and, you know, oh, hello, so-and-so. How are you today? Enjoying the day? Why are you being a dick? Yeah. You well, know? It's like they saw, I saw this one thing that, um, and I don't remember word for word what it was, but it was like, um, how does Taylor Swift work out? Probably like everybody else does. One extension at a time. Whatever, one lift. Yeah. Whatever she does. I mean, I can imagine what her gym must look like, but it's, who cares? Yeah. You know? And they're like, you know, whatever, girl, keep doing you. There you go. Keep That's doing right. you. If you want to drink at 9 o'clock in the morning, bitch, do it. Yep. Mm -hmm. Do it. Travis, you rock, brother. We yeah. got you. It's all good. Don't worry about it. I mean, they, they said, like, they made this big deal about it. Like, you act like the girl's never had a drink before. Like, yeah. oh, Travis Kelsey's a bad influence because, you know, she's, she's got her drinking. But if you watch other shows that she's gone to, mm -hmm. you know, like award shows and stuff like that, prior to Travis Kelsey, she's drinking. Yeah. And, and who, who cares? cares? Everybody wow. needs... That was in stereo. <laughs> But you know everybody needs to let loose once in a while. Like, you have to. But they're they're I think that they're just basically narrowing in on that aspect right now because of her relationship status. Oh, uh, okay. You know who cares? Yeah, exactly. Who cares? Y'all keep doing what you want to do. Fuck it. Fuck it. That's right. You know. Do you go to his games? See what he's doing. Go to his. Go to her concerts. You know. It's what keeps that relation together. Yeah. Relationship together. Support. Support, well, that's, absolutely. That's what they're doing with, yeah. with each other. Mm -hmm. But it's like, why does it have to be continued? And then, I don't really see a whole lot of anything else anymore. It's just the two of them. Mm -hmm. Not that I really pay attention to the news, but... I don't. I mean, I glance at things here and there. And if I do happen to get something that comes across my news, news feed, which is, once, which, which is once in a blue moon. Mm -hmm. So, I'll, I'll check it out. Yeah. I do too, but mm -hmm. you know, yep, it is what it is. Like, there you go. Who gives a shit? That's right. Who cares? Yep. But I'll say this, girl: if you're ever in Jersey, let's go have a drink. I'm down. Bring Travis. We'll have a good time. Yeah, we'll go have a drink. Yeah. And we'll we'll cheers all fucking night long and post that shit everywhere. Like, here you go. Y'all can see that shit and kiss my ass now. She's fine. Ooh, me? Yeah. Oh, fuck it. I'll buy some drinks. There you go. I'll buy some drinks, too. I'll It'll buy some drinks. <laughs> if you want to do it at 9 a.m., let's do it. No, no, no. That's a little too early for me. But to each his own. To each his own. Mm, I remember those days. I don't think I've ever started drinking at 9 a.m. <laughs> Try 6 o'clock. I've been drinking till 6 a.m. No, I've started at 6 o'clock. I was away. Oh, you're one of those. Well, I was. One of those, where you're on vacation, you can start drinking whatever you want. But then you lose the whole vacation, because who remembers it after a while? See, 
I used to do this because I used to be a firefighter and we used to go to a convention. So that was kind of like law. You had to get up early. So you'd have a beer while the coffee's being made, have the coffee and then jump back to the beer. If we talk about a shock to the system and we would drink strong coffee. Hmm. Oh, so you're not one of those vacation people. Well, no. Can I take it back? Natural born Hellraiser. <laughs> At 54 and still going strong. I'm just chilling. Oh, I, I've seen you. <laughs> oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. She chills, all right. So you piss me off? She chills them and then slams them. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else, Miss Jersey? No. Well, you know what? I got a bar in my backyard. We don't even have to go out. I got a bar here. We got two bars. We can bar hop. We can bar hop. Come there on, you Taylor. Go. Yep, let's do it. Let's do it, girl. There you go. We're going bar hopping and it's private. Can you imagine if they actually, if she seen this video and took us up on it? That, but then again, guess what? We're in the tabloids now. Oh, that's not what I'm doing. I'm just trying no, to... No, I'm not doing it for that neither. But I'm just saying, you know, we'd be getting that knock at the door. Is this where, is this where Taylor and uh, Taylor Swift and uh, Travis Kelsey are going to be hanging out? What are you talking about? No. I'm going to answer my door like this. My finger right up my nose. What was that? Oh, here. You want to shake my hand? I'm coming to the door in a t-shirt and boxer shorts. <laughs> I'm sending my dog to the door. Bailey don't like strangers. That we know, yes, yeah. this is true. Really don't like strangers. Yes. Come to my door. <laughs> but it would be, a, it's a nice little private thing because we can bar hop. We can go for, yeah. no, my, we, we can go from the bar at my house and then we could just walk here to the bar at your house. That's right. And then if we want to go anywhere else, we can. Yeah. But it's a private party. Yes. Private party. That's a good thing. Yeah. Yes. Not that she really cares, because she sits there with her drink, like, cheers, which is the thing to do, bitch. That's right. The thing to do. Like, what did you say? Do you. Yes, That's do right. you, girl. Yes, do it. absolutely. Do you. Do you all the way. Yes. Absolutely. You good? Anything else? Nah, I'm not. That's it. All right. Well, as usual, we're going to wrap this one up. And hey, enjoy your weekend. Be safe. And if you're in the Garden State, Sorry, get your galoshes out. You're going to need them for another couple hours. Take care of yourselves, folks, and please remember a good act of kindness goes a long way. We'll talk to you soon. See ya. Bye.